right, so it's Rookie Repairs back it again. I'm gonna do the oil change on the 2004 Dodge Ram 1500. As you can see, it has over 300,000 miles and it still runs like a champ. All right, let's go ahead and do the oil change. All right, let's go to under the car, flush the oil oil. As you can see, I always check your coolant level, as you can see. It's right about where it's low right there. And I check under the car. Well, I was gonna do an oil change. As I got under the car, I was losing a lot of coolant. And I check all the hoses. And I look where's the coolant leaking from. And it's leaking from right here. I was hoping it to be the hose right here, this one. But I didn't check all around. This hose is dry. There's no leaks or white spots right there. We look more down. I'm not sure if you can see that. As you can see right there, it's pretty wet right there. So that's where's the water pump. See the water right there. That's where we're losing coolant. So we'll have to replace the water pump. You see the shiny part right there? That's the water pump. So it's leaking all around right there. All right, so that's a sign of that your water pump is going bad or it's bad already. So you'll need to replace it. So yeah. Just stay tuned, I'll be replacing the water pump soon. But before that, I'm gonna finish with the oil change. All right, let's get back to it. All right, let's go and locate the drain plug. See right there, that's the coolant. All right. All right, so right there's a filter. We'll be replacing that in a bit. But let's go and find the drain plug. Right here, right here. Green plug is right here. Just gonna adjust the camera. So, all right, that's a drain plug for the oil. All right, and the back one right here. This one is for the transmission. See, this one doesn't have a drain plug. All right, let's come back and drain this. All right, so the size for that one is a size 13, 13 millimeter. Just gotta remove it. Yeah, small ones, go ahead and have them ready. Now we just have to wait for that to drain. All right, so after you let it drain, let's go ahead and put the drain plug back in. So 
the tool that I like to use is my universe oil filter wrench. This one right here. All right, just gonna remove that. So under description, I'll include the link to this oil wrench. All right, let's go to remove it. Let's have your oil pan underneath. Ready? As you can see, it started to leak. Gonna kind of loosen it more. See the oil drooping. I'm right, just gonna remove it. that just go ahead and wipe wipe off the oil see all that and wipe up there of course all right just go ahead and do that all right so here's the parts you'll need seven quarts and the oil filter. All right, so you see I'm using the original part, Mopar, which is recommended for the dogs. All right, just gonna put the new filter in. I'm right, just gonna put our solid our new filter. All right, so before you install it, you want to put oil right here, you want to lubricate it first. You put oil around here, on the gasket right here. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I had it over right there, the gasket. So for this part, this is pretty easy. You just have to hand tighten it. You don't need the tool that you remove it with. Just go ahead and hand tighten it. As I mentioned, you don't need to tighten it with no special tool, just hand tighten it. As you see, it's pretty tight now. That should be enough. Just go ahead and wipe it. add the oil which only seven quarts all right just go ahead and add the oil now so as you can see right there the oil that's recommended is 530 all right let's go ahead and add the oil so you'll need seven quarts for this one let's go to remove the cap Just gonna add the mic cords.
go ahead and add the other two quarts. Gonna add the last quart. So after adding seven quarts, go ahead and check the oil level. Check your dipstick right here. Gonna pull it out, just wipe it down. So after we wipe it down, just go to put it back in. So it's right on the spot. So go ahead and clean it again. Put it back in. I'll show you right now where's the level up. right about right here it's right here was it? right there so make sure when you check your oil it's in between this little right here and this one right here because you're below right here that's not bad if you are below just go ahead and add oil to it but this is where you want to be at Stay safe right here. So make sure your oil is in between right here. Alright. So let's go and check it one last time. See right on the spot right here. Right there. see because of the sun it's right here we're just safe right here all right just gonna put it back in all right so there you guys have it you guys found this video helpful please don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching so as i mentioned i'll be replacing the water pump as you guys saw it was it started to leak now all right so yeah always make sure before you take a trip a long distance trip check your coolant level as you saw this is it was not low it's right there and then i once i went into the car i saw the coolant was leaking so yeah, make sure you get that repaired before you take the long distance drive. Cause you don't want in the middle of the freeway, the truck overheating. Cause the pump is, water pump is out. All right, so yeah, I'll be replacing the water pump. I have to check the prices first. If not, I'll have to order it online.
catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.